Good afternoon. Well, I'm getting the keel bolted on. It's one of those things that I couldn't really ever imagine actually doing it and getting it done. But it's going pretty good. In the last video, like just a couple days ago, we had pulled the keel out because we had to countersink the bottom for the nuts to go on the bottom of the bolts. We got it flipped back over and, and shoved back under and getting it back to where it's lined up exactly right with where the bolt holes had been drilled through and getting those in there has been a trick. So I was able to get my uh, guide pieces back down in here and uh, so I know that I'm lined up with the slot that's in the lead and then I thought, well, let's do the first one. So this first one in here after station 7, between 7 and 8, that's a 3 8 hole. And it doesn't go through a floor. It just goes straight through the oak keel. Um, so we did that one first, and, and that one went in fairly good, but I've had to put a little wood shim in underneath, and we'll see that in a second, between uh, the, the oak and the ballast because it just didn't fit up tightly. And then I've used dolphinite and got that all lathered up on the top of the lead and that little wood shim that you'll see. That bolts in. The other thing that I had to do was use the floor jacks to lift the lead up because as, as much as I tried to drill straight down, I'm finding that back here in 14, the angle went down like this. So unless the lead is right up next to the bottom they don't just drop straight through and I actually had to pound on these I took the hammer and, and a piece of oak I don't know what I did with it so I didn't screw up the tops of the, of the threads I took the wood on top of there and then beat it down with the hammer and once I got it jacked up underneath to where it was really close then they they went through um, so now I've got a nut on 14 on on port and now on starboard we're gonna see if we can get the the nut to uh, fit up underneath here so I don't know if you can follow me down here and see what I'm doing I got all kinds of dolphinite and 5200 in these holes so I got that cleaned off there a little bit, and that's that's sticking through there. You know what? That's going to have to come down a little bit. I don't think I can get on that. Maybe I can. Yeah, with the countersink, I can. Tell me that's going to thread on there. Yeah, I think I think I'm going to beat that down in there just a little bit more. Found my hammer in my oak block. Okay, that went down. Oh yeah, that's sticking way down now. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm turning the whole thing. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. I wonder if that's cross-threaded. No, it's not. I think those threads are bunged up just a little bit from beating it through the lead. There. can't use 5200 without getting it all over yourself. That's just a rule. I've really done very well so far. Okay, that's in there now. Actually, it's up on just a little too far. Take it back off just a little bit. Beat that back 
back up in through the hole. And then we put the nuts on, all the floors up in the top. It's going up in that countersink. Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay, now when I put the nuts in the top, I should be able to lift that up and tighten it up. So I've got that one done. I'm going to go around the other side and climb in the boat. I put that in there. Luckily there will be a video record of it. I'll be able to watch the video and remember what I did with the nuts. Okay, that's how you do it. Now we'll tighten those down, should pull the keel up. We need to do these two here in 12, but that's, uh, oh yeah, and that one there in 10. So I've got three more I gotta do. So anyway, that's bolting up the keel. I've just become a big fan of Dolphinite. This side, always looked like it was going to be pretty close and smooth anyway um, and we had some squeeze out which is good it means we got enough in there it's really hard to hold the camera down under here so we've got everything everything bolted up tight I do have a couple of places where the bolt heads I think you can see that one right there sticking down just a little bit and I tried to beat on it but I don't know it's going up any further that's just going to be it. Okay, I'm going to stop this and take some pictures on the other side. Okay, this is the side where I was kind of freaked out about how this was going to actually bolt up on here because every time I test fitted it just by lifting it up with the car jacks, um, it just appeared like there was these big gaps in here. And quite honestly, I got a lot of squeeze out of the Dolphinite. And then I did go back and just almost use it as a fairing compound just kind of make the whole thing fairly smooth so we'll see how it sets up if it's sandable at all I can imagine I can probably clean it up a little bit later so there we are when I tighten the, the nuts up inside here um, you could just hear the whole thing coming together and I don't know if the boat was exactly level. There's the one in number 10. That's the 3 8 one down there in, in between 7 and 8 that just goes through the oak floor or the oak keel. And it got real tight too. So anyway, we're good. We've got uh, that one, 1 in 10, 2 in 12, 2 in 14 on each side of the trunk there. And that's it as far as the lead then obviously we're gonna to have to fit the dead wood and those holes aren't drilled yet I did glue up the dead wood last night so now I've got everything epoxied together you see where I made my little magic marker marks on there so I could tell which piece went where back there maybe you can see that anyway so it'll be interesting to see now how this fits in underneath now that the leads bolted up tight oh my all right more later